This video is sponsored by Headspace. Last month, Wa and I decided to set out on our long-awaited road trip to Oregon. We both felt the need to get out, especially after spending many months working from home and sticking to the same old routine. So one night he asked me if I wanted to finally go to Oregon. We both felt pretty flustered but excited and we checked our calendar together. Within that same night, we stayed up until 3 a.m. to plan out our itinerary and within a few days, we were ready to hit the road. Wa and I will be celebrating our 11 year anniversary next month, which is so crazy to think about. As I reflect on our relationship, I've also reflected a lot on myself. Over the past two years, I know we have all heard so much about focusing on our mental health. And I, like most people, have been feeling burnt out, anxious, and a little lost. A few friends recommended that I start meditating. And to be honest, when I first started, I couldn't quite grasp the idea of it. Then I heard about the app Headspace, which so many people recommend it to me and they are also kindly sponsoring this video today. I have to say ever since I started I have been using them every single day from their morning guided breath work to my personal favorite which is the guided sleep meditations. They have thousands of different content on the app to help improve your mood or any goal that you may want to achieve. I like that it ranges from guided meditations, mindful walks and runs, breathing exercises, sleep content and just so much more depending on what you need. And during the long drives to Oregon, I love that we were able to use it during our breaks and we also meditated together which is something new for us after being together for 11 years. I love that there's something for everyone, whether you're new to meditation or if you're experienced, you're able to do just a quick 3 minute breathing exercise if that's all the time you have or maybe if you have more time you're able to do 20 minute guided courses. Studies have shown that using Headspace for 10 days have resulted in a 14% decrease in stress which I would have to say has been true for my Myself. Meditating together during this trip was very different for us. I think that it helped us feel more connected with ourselves and each other. So I highly recommend it if you have not tried them out. If you are interested to try out Headspace, they are offering a free trial to my viewers. So I'll have that link listed below in the description box if you would like to check them out. One core memory I have of my childhood was when my parents would get off of work at night pack up the car and we would head out on our road trip. It would either be Disneyland or sometimes we would go camping. And I remember those drives just felt so long as a kid, maybe because I was just super antsy about where we were going. But one thing I really loved about those trips was the conversations we had, the road trip food that we would eat during the car ride. And those have really become some of my favorite memories of my childhood. And I feel like sometimes road trips can be very tiring because of all the driving, but with with the right people and with the right mindset, it can be so much fun. We made it. <laughs> Six hours later, we are now at Wa's mom's house. This is our first stop before we head out tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. And I wanted to show you for this one week road trip, this is what I packed. Everything that I need, or not everything, most of everything that I need is in this backpack my clothes, my skincare, my makeup, my computer, and my camera gear. I have more stuff I than you. I am very impressed. One week, all in this backpack. The wall gave me these packing cubes. All of my clothing are in these two bags. This really helped keep everything together. Wow! <laughs> we also got some homemade fresh rice rolls. This is Cheng Fan in Chinese. So excited. You can it. You it. 哇,上次你種了條苦瓜呢? 5.44 only slept for 5 hours Okay. Good morning. 
Are you ready to go for a seven day road trip? Seven days? Okay, let's go. I think the first road trip I went on with Wall was back when I was 18 years old and we went to Reno, Nevada with our group of friends. If you've been watching the vlogs for a while now, you may remember that trip. And it's just so crazy to think that so much time has gone by since then. And I watch our vlogs now and not only have we changed in our style, the way we speak, just who we are as people. Most importantly, I think our mindset has just changed so much. I think growing up, can be very scary but the best part is that as you continue to grow you get to know yourself more and you get to know the people around you more and you begin to realize what you need versus what you want because those can be two very different things right i know for myself sometimes i can be resistant to change because i'm afraid of change but the cool thing that comes out of that is that i start to learn so much more about myself i feel like i become a stronger version of me every single year so i think that's the coolest part about growing up we're in Oregon! We just crossed the state line and it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Okay. It was just like 90 something degrees. The temperature just keeps dropping and the rain is coming down. Growing up, I've always wanted to visit Oregon and I've always imagined Oregon to be exactly like this. We've been driving so much. We are so tired. I hope it's not going to be rainy by the time we get to that viewpoint that we're trying to get to. Very excited. We have 28 more minutes. All right, so it was $30 for seven day entrance. Oh my gosh. This is Crater Lake. Look at that. It's beautiful. Just wish it wasn't raining. But it... Whoa, it's thundering. We got to camp right before sunset, so we still had a little light outside. It was still raining, so we got to have our first rainy camping experience. And I gotta say, it's not for me. It is not for me. I got so wet, it was so uncomfortable, but it was really nice and toasty in the tent. So that was nice. Luckily, the next morning, the weather did clear up, so we went back to Merriam Point, which is a lookout point at Crater Lake, and as you can see, the lake was stunning. It looked like we were staring into a mirror. It was so reflective and just a beautiful sight. I highly recommend checking this spot out. We set up camp last night, ate dinner, and pretty much that's it. This morning we went to Crater Lake and we checked it out. Now we're gonna head to Portland. It's gonna be a four hour drive from here. So I'll see you later. After a four hour drive, we finally made it to Portland. Oh girl, that drive felt so long. You know how some drives just fly by, but that one in particular just felt like it was going by so slowly. Maybe it was because I kept checking the ETA. Anyways, it was dreadful, but once we made it, we checked out some cool places, which I was very happy about. And let me know in the comments, did I go to all the right places? Did I miss some spots? I'm sure I did, but let me know what I need to check out the next time I'm here. Whenever I'm traveling, especially when it's in a city, I always like to look up their cafes. And this one was a very popular one, so we decided to stop by. It truly did not disappoint. I really enjoyed the breakfast options. There was a hash brown that we got that was super, super crispy. We also got the overnight oats, and I know what you're thinking, why would you order overnight oats when you can make it at home, the girl? their overnight oats was truly the best that I've ever had. So please try it if you ever come here. Are you ready? Can you say? Thank you. 
That's fishy. Is it just fish? have too much on our agenda today we were gonna go for a hike but we started the day a little late so now we're just walking around this cute little neighborhood and that's it that's, that's it, it. <laughs> When traveling, especially when it's in a city, I like to go into the home decor stores or cafes, bookstores. That just is my jam. I love stores that sell stationary goods. And I'm curious to know when you're traveling, what kind of stores do you like to go into? Because that's usually what's on my list and I feel like it's kind of limited. I may be missing out on a lot of other cool things, so let me know. So, Wall wanted to check out this store that's next to this restaurant, but they're closed. <laughs> We're just gonna grab something small to eat. Oh, I also went to Sephora to pick up a new foundation because I got so tan. I don't know if you can tell. I went and picked up a new foundation that will hopefully match my face a little more. And I feel like a true tourist with a big old backpack and some Tevas. For dinner, we were both so excited for Takibi, which is a restaurant located inside the Snow Peak store. We arrived a little earlier, did some shopping, and then we just walked to the back for our dinner reservation. I'm very excited to try everything. This is the Kitsune Soba. This is a maitake mushroom, I think. That's the pork belly and that, morel. oh, morel mushrooms. And then this one is trout. their trout. Wow. <laughs> it's so cute. When I think of Oregon, I've always imagined very lush and green landscapes. So when we were planning this trip, we wanted to make sure we did a few waterfall hikes. This one was a very nice and easy beginner friendly trail. If you have about two hours of time to spare, I do recommend checking out this trail. I love that the start of the trail, you are just welcomed by this line of tall, beautiful trees. The waterfall at the end was also very nice. We are at Wa Playa Fall. I think my Spanish has, uh, has transferred to you. Wa That should be correct. In Spanish, yeah. Cute little flower. Looks like some trees fell down and just landed here. After we cross this bridge, that should be it. Here we are. Now she has a big smile on her face. 
and cheese. For sure the peppers. Mm. The red pepper is so good. Mm -hmm. Chili pepper? Yeah. This is. This is the shrimp hajon. Ay. Holy moly. <laughs> Good morning. So it's our last morning here in Portland and we stopped by Pine Street Biscuits. Look at how big this is. Inside there's veggie bacon, a veggie sausage patty, and then a mushroom gravy. This is huge. I am 5'5", five five, and there's still this much room. Ooh, there's a mosquito in here. That is how you camp. This is a game changer. Are you washing your hands? Mm-hmm. Good morning! We have to check out in about an hour or so and we're gonna head off to our next location. At our first stop of the day at Yakina Head Lighthouse. It's really beautiful. So pretty. I don't think I've actually ever been to a lighthouse. <laughs> this is my first time, I think. I love the purple flowers. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> 
Usually when we plan out our road trips, we do have an itinerary for every single day. However, with that being said, we aren't very strict with it. We do like to go with the flow of things. So if we're running a little behind, it's totally fine, which is kind of what happened with Tasty Tiki. We stumbled into this shack when we were just feeling super hungry. We thought we would just hit up McDonald's or something, but we thought, you know what? We're gonna have a long drive today. So let's sit down and have a nice meal. And that was probably one of the more memorable meals on this trip because it was so spontaneous. And then we hit up another viewpoint. This is a secret beach. We did not hike to the bottom of it because it was getting a little late, but the view just from this lookout point was so beautiful. Finally made it. We've been driving all day. So we just made it to camp. We got here around 9 p.m., which is pretty late. We set up our tent, as you can see. So for dinner tonight, I think we're probably gonna just have a cup of noodles, to be honest, because we're not trying to do anything crazy. Good morning. We were parked here. It's a nice, like, paved driveway. We are at Panther Flat Campground. This is site number 31. And then right over here is our campsite. This is our space. You can either pitch a tent up there or you can pitch your tent over here like what we did. They also have picnic tables. They have a showers, uh, running water, and flushing toilets. It was set up right underneath the trees. So it's giving us a lot of shade this morning. Then over on this side, there is a fire pit. You can even put another tent back here too. Paul's making breakfast and I'm gonna pack up our tent. This is what it looks like when nothing's inside of it. Do -do 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 -do. And now that brings us to the last day of the road trip. We drove a few more hours to Russian River, which is in California. We stayed in this glamping type of location for the evening. And this was really nice because I was feeling pretty dirty and gross and they did have showers here. So I was able to shower and freshen up. But that about wraps up this trip. It was super fun. I hope that this inspires you to go out and plan that road trip if you've been thinking about it. I had so much fun and I'm so, so thankful that we were able to do this and check this off my bucket list. Before I go, I do want to say thank you again to Headspace for sponsoring today's vlog. If you're interested to try out their app and get a free trial, I will have the link below. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day wherever you are and I will see you in my next one. Bye!